Well, uh, that's right. Um, Biden is repairing the damage done by his uh, Republican predecessor over four years. And um, he believes in, uh, in multilateral diplomacy. And um, it's very important to him, clearly, to uh, convey that impression of NATO's, uh, 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 America's appreciation of the transatlantic alliance. And in fact, the, um, uh, the, the G7 summit over the last three days before the uh, NATO summit um, focused on that message uh, too. So uh, it's an important moment. Uh, it's Biden's first visit to um, Europe since his inauguration back in uh, January. And of course, he's going to meet uh, Vladimir Putin, uh, the Russian president, in Geneva on uh, Wednesday. So uh, it's an important uh, moment for uh, the uh, NATO uh, alliance. And of course, the, um, the focus on China is uh, another significant difference. Well, let me, let me read you part of the communique uh, that was mentioned on China. As our reporter Tony Waterman said, uh, China meant, was mentioned some 10 times. Russia was mentioned some 60 times. But on China, uh, the communique says China's stated ambitions and assertive behavior present systematic challenges to the alliance, but goes on to say NATO has a constructive dialogue where possible and welcomes opportunities to engage with China. Ian, is there, is it your sense that these leaders um, are united when it comes on countering a rising China? Well, it, the divisive issue, it reflects the importance of the rise of China and its um, uh, increasing dominance uh, in the uh, the world uh, geostrategic uh, uh, landscape, if you like. Um, there are many issues in which China is in confrontation with the West. Domestically, its treatment of the Uyghur uh, Muslim uh, minority, uh, uh, the um, the issue of Taiwan, for example. Right. There's also many, many Hong issues, Kong. Ian. We, I think we, we know the, the challenges involved here when it comes to how China sees things, how the West sees things. I guess my question to you is, uh, Biden wanted a united front. Did he get a united front when it comes to countering China? Well, um, you know, Germany, for example, uh, believes that... Um, uh, cooperation with China on uh, the climate change issue, the, a global uh, challenge for us all, uh, requires the cooperation of uh, Beijing. Uh, there's no question about that. And the, um, the European countries that took part in the G7 over the weekend in Cornwall in southwest England uh, are, are less keen right. than the Americans, uh, especially the Biden administration, on confronting China. But uh, it's a complicated issue. And, um, you know, I think that the, the, uh, the amount of mentions of uh, China in the uh, NATO statement uh, reflects this novelty, if you like, of meeting uh, the challenge posed by uh, Beijing. So there are European differences, and uh, it's not clear what's going to happen next. Very quickly, Biden also met with Turkey's president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, and we both know that relationship has also been acrimonious. Um, Erdogan held a news conference, described the talks as fruitful and sincere. We have yet to hear uh, from Biden He's supposed to hold a news conference shortly. What do you make of that relationship? And uh, uh, where is that relationship going? I mean, Turkey, after all, is a NATO ally. Well, not only a, a NATO ally, but the second most uh, 
uh, numerous uh, armed forces after the United States. So it's an important ally. Um, it joined NATO in 1950, earlier than many other uh, countries. And it's a founding member, if you like, of uh, NATO in terms of uh, historic uh, experience. The, um, the main issue with um, Turkey is uh, the decision by President Erdogan, Erdogan in 2019 to uh, purchase a, um, a, a Russian-made uh, anti-missile system. Um, that um, was the first time that a NATO ally had purchased, had bought anything from the Russians, obviously the former Soviet Union. And the Americans retaliated uh, by excluding Turkey from the F-35 uh, combat aircraft uh, sales. Another issue, uh, a very sensitive issue, if you like, is the uh, Biden's definition of Ottoman Turkey's uh, treatment of the Armenian minority right. as genocide. Correct. And so it's a complicated issue. And in terms of Turkey's regional role, there were also issues from Syria to Libya to the eastern Mediterranean. No. But the main item on the agenda is clearly been dealing with China.